Welcome to Tales of Honor, a podcast with a mission to tell the true stories of every recipient of our nation's highest military award, the Medal of Honor. Hello, everyone, and welcome to today's episode of Tales of Honor podcast. I'm your host, Christoph Ambrosch, and today's episode is number 512. I have two orders of business to go over today before we jump into today's Tale of Honor. And the first up is a correction. Now, I've rarely had to do this over the last 500 plus episodes, as frequent listeners of the show will know. But I have one correction to make, and it was on the last episode. I was very gracious, and I am very gracious, to the family members of the recipient that were able to provide me with some information on their great-grandfather. And through messages, I had misinterpreted the information that was given to me, and I had said that two of the daughters of Edward uh, Baker had names of cavalry officers. Well, this is incorrect. It was both of his sons that had middle names of cavalry officers. So my apologies to the family, and I did make the correction on the webpage where it was written out. And I issued at the bottom of that a correction stating um, the information that had been changed. So my apologies and consider this my formal correction of the last episode. Next up, this little bit is uh, unrelated to the Medal of Honor, um, but it is related to the show. I'd like to wish a happy belated birthday to the show's sponsor, Motor City Munitions. Jeff celebrated his birthday recently and Also, in conjunction with that, a very special congratulations on receiving his blue belt in Brazilian jiu-jitsu. Apparently, that all happened on the same day. A very well-earned belt change ceremony happened for him, and uh, it's a very big accomplishment. And I want to wish him a very happy belated birthday and congratulations, as well as a special thank you for continuing on supporting the show So that is all I have for today. Uh, No birthdays until the next episode. So let's jump right on into today's Tale of Honor. Dennis was born on the 28th of December, 1866, in Washington, D.C., and at the age of 26, he enlisted in the U.S. Army from Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. Six years later, he was a private with Troop H of the 10th Cavalry Regiment and was deployed to Cuba in support of the Spanish-American War. It was his actions as part of a landing party from the American steamship named Florida that would earn him the Medal of Honor. The citation reads, Voluntarily went ashore in the face of the enemy and aided in the rescue of his wounded comrades. This after several previous attempts at rescue had been frustrated. The Florida had been escorted by a gunboat, the USS Peoria, along with another steamboat named the Finita. They attempted to land near the port of San Fuegos, but the area was too heavily defended. The boats landed near the mouth of the Tayabacoba River on the 30th of June, 1898, which is when Dennis and the landing party took part in what is now known as the Battle of Tayacoba due to the American mispronunciation of the river's name. Dennis and the landing party were the fifth and final attempt to rescue a landing party that had gone ashore to provide reconnaissance on Spanish outposts. They had been discovered and had their boats sank and were stranded until Dennis and four others successfully rescued them during the night. Dennis and three others received their medals of honor on the 23rd of June, 1899, and Dennis remained in the Army until December of 1903, when he was discharged as a corporal after 11 years. Dennis returned to Washington, D.C., where he worked as a Mason, and on the 25th of September, 1953, Dennis Bell died at the age of 86. He is buried in Arlington National Cemetery, Section 31, Grave 349. And that was a Tale of Honor. Thank you for listening to Tales of Honor, and if you enjoyed the show, please be sure to subscribe and tell your friends and family. Tales of Honor is written and produced by Christoph Ambrosch, and theme music is Loyalty and Duty by Florus Music. If you have any questions, you can send an email to talesofhonorpodcast at gmail.com, and please be sure to visit talesofhonorpodcast.com for more episodes and information.